Alright family, so I'm doing this video a second time. Um, it's recording on the iPhone and it literally just stopped recording. Like it didn't stop recording, it just crashed on me and I lost all that. My black universe. So my black universe. Welcome to my universe. My black universe. My black universe. Let go, let go, let go. I was talking about why I started the YouTube channel, My Black Universe, and how growing up, I remember my dad, my dad used to work for this one construction company, and he was the only licensed journeyman plumber. They had to submit his license to the state for contract work on Richmond Mall. They were doing the expansion. I believe they were adding Dillard's on there. It's years ago, 90s. I want to say mid, I want to say mid to late 90s. Because my grandfather had already passed, and it was in 96. So, I remember my dad had got electrocuted twice on site, on the construction site. The same way you can some people, whoa, whoa what, do you, what do you mean? What, what was he doing? Well, he was working around exposed wiring. My dad did his due diligence and he talked to the electrician. Hey, are the wires hot? Both times. The first time, um, I believe it's called this low current high voltage where it holds you. I believe that if the current's low, then it'll hold you. If the current's high, it'll eject you. Um, but it was, I believe it was low current and it was holding him. And my dad had to muscle up the willpower and the strength just to pull himself away because there was no one around. There's no one around. Second time, he asked the electrician again, man on the body's hot. No oh, man, they're good, they're good, they're good, my bad. I don't remember everything because it was so long ago. It was very traumatic for me. You know what I'm saying? My dad's my fucking hero, man. And it hit him. Boom. They didn't call the ambulance for my dad at all. He tried to drive himself to the hospital. If you know Richmond Mall to the hospital district, it's expanded since then, but just in that general area, that's a little bit of a drive, especially after you've been hit with that much current and that much voltage. You're discombobulated. Everything's just nothing's on point. So he pulled into 7 Eleven, if I remember correctly, because I think 7 Elevens at the time were really popular. They, well, they were really popular. Quick Trip and Racetrack wasn't popular back then. So if you are a 90s baby and you're like, 7 Eleven was popping? Yeah, 7 Eleven was the Quick Trip 20 something years ago. And he went to a payphone. That's how, old, that's how long ago this was. He tried to call my mom. Couldn't get her. At the same time, he's trying to call my mom. Somebody, uh, um, I, I, I guess it was somebody from the phone company. Somebody was working on these those tall poles. I don't know, I'm sure if it was a telephone pole or electric pole, or whatever. I, I'm quite certain it was a telephone pole because he didn't get electricity again. I think they would have killed power in the area because it was 7 Eleven right there, right? So. The cables were still connected to the pole. And the guy goes to take off. Wasn't paying attention. Yoink. Top of the pole comes down. It's my father on top of the head. Right about here. Got a nice little gash right here. Full head of hair. Had to shave around it, of course. Because they had to, you know, put stitches. Um, I was a kid. I remember saying my dad was talking to the investigators and all that and everyone that was involved and I remember just blurting out they tried to kill you I was a kid man my dad hired a black attorney Timmy White I don't know how the guy practices now my dad doesn't have a gag order 
the case is over from what I understand what the other firm did um, wasn't illegal what he did in response to the firm wasn't legal they'd offer him some of their clients so that one point that one plus million dollar case quickly became 7500 bucks sold my dad out allegedly let me say that My dad was pretty much the sole provider. He made the bulk of the income. I remember my dad sacrificing for two years. My dad would be gone before we woke up. And he wouldn't come home until we until after we were asleep. For two years to get his license to provide for his family. And just like that. Taken away from him. When he could have got justice. Just like Somebody. But then again, not all skin folk is skin folk, right? My dad having this disdain for his own community. My dad, July 12th, I'm August 12th, right? Cancer, Leo. I'm on black folk don't can't do it. black folk black folk which I understand that is a betrayal like no other to know that a man has a family and he entrusts you to do the right thing and get justice for his family and you say, F you. I'm gonna get something for me. <laughs> oh man. Needs to say my father really couldn't go back and plumbing. He did a little bit here and there. Little odd jobs. Um, he had a family to provide for. It's three of us. Me and my brothers. All graduates of Eastern Hill High School. Two of us were in band, one of us was in track. We got by. My dad did all that to afford us a better opportunity. Didn't go as planned. Fast forward. I have three children. And I thought about all the relationships and the friendships I developed with black folk that were dope. Yeah, you know, some, some cowards and some suckers. Some bottom beating type Negroes. And I had to learn to be okay with keeping them out of my circle. Having them close enough to see them and know what they're up to, but not close enough where they could hurt me or damage anything I had going on. That's, that was learned. I had to learn that. I started this channel because I wanted my children to see the best of their people, the very best of their people, the brightest of their people. See folk that look like them do amazing things in spite of all these seemingly insurmountable odds. And I'll be honest, lately I've been feeling it. I have not been feeling it. Um, editing a film, but I, I, I feel I go through depression like most people. I go through my issues like most people. I work full time. And I work in an industry where it's a lot of people who are white. And I have to balance not faulting them for something somebody else did. And, but I also have to balance working in this space. And even though I'm quote unquote a professional 
and I'm wearing a company uniform with the logo right here with the badge and tools and I'm just asking in a of course in the the corporate voice hi my name is Victor I'm, I'm here for the CT that's not how I'm going to talk but because I understand I work in an environment where people feel uncomfortable when you speak in your normal voice when you look like this I have to code switch And this person can literally see the logo, but then they look at your badge. Almost as if to say, Negro, I have to make sure you're who you say you are. And I see it, and I just have to grit my teeth and bear it. And do it over and over again. It's not everywhere. It doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, it's most definitely obvious I do this so the next generation can be in a space where they don't have to deal with that if they don't want to for the most part I do this so your babies and my babies can take the road less travel and know there's there's success on the other side that's why I do this. I don't do this because I'm trying to blow up and be the biggest. Yeah, look at all y'all, y'all. Make me bigger. No, I do. If that was the case, I wouldn't do a channel like this. I could just do a tech channel. And with the charisma and with my personality and my imagination, I could probably have one of the dopest tech channels out there. You know what I'm saying? My favorite YouTubers on opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to tech. That's Flossie Carter and MKBHD. Two completely different styles. But their personalities, who they are, draws you in. And you can rock with them because they are unapologetically themselves. I can go do that. I choose to do this as a labor of love for my people. And it is a rather arduous task at times. Sorry, I'm feeling it. I was supposed to give you guys an update to this. Actually, 13 days ago. I, I, I kept feeling like something's not right. My iPhone. Go figure, right? Enjoy it whenever. But that's why I do this. For those who are non black, why you gotta. Why do you care? What are you worried about? Does it take a meal out of your mouth? Will you be able to will you be able to unprovide would you would you not be able to provide for your children? Will you miss your bills? Like will your mortgage not get paid? Like how does this ultimately affect you? Because you can set up to where you're not interested in my channel and what I do. I do this so my children can have a positive outlook on being black. Where they don't have to feel like every time they ride past a police officer, they're hoping he doesn't turn around turn those lights. That's everywhere I go, literally. Especially when I'm in certain areas, rural areas that I know there's not a lot of us all the time. All the time. Don't speed. Not speed limit. I often don't watch what's on the news when I see it, when I hear about us getting gunned down. Because I have to work out in this world, in this society. And I don't like the idea of having to constantly look over my shoulder because of what's happening. And I'd be damned if I would just leave this at it's just the way it is. When it could be better. When I can do something. And this is what I do. 
Um, Tyler Twine. Shoes on my feet are from uh, Urban Urbane, my channel sponsor. Which is a testament to how dope we can be. This brother doesn't know me. We've talked on the phone twice, I think. Text each other, mess DM through IG, emails. Hey brother, I want to sponsor the channel. Dope. This is how we do it. Boom, boom, boom. It took years to get to this point. Incredible audio. My face on commercials that they got going. The ad, not commercials, but ads that they got going on Facebook and IG. It took years to get to that point. I don't do it to be famous. I do it to get some, get us out there and show that we can do something amazing. We're not just hoodlums and thugs like they try to paint up, like they try to paint us out to be. That is not the rule for our community. That is a sliver of our society, just like all societies. Everybody has their dredges. They all have the unwanted. Every society. Period. I'll stay aware. Sponge with my glasses. The Minneapolis twos with the black power fist on there. Bought a pair. Hey, I want. I did a YouTube video. Yo, we want to rock with you. Bet. Let's rock. Let's rock. With you. What, what, what? Let's do an affiliate link. Let's get you out there. When I go and I do these restaurants, I know it's not necessarily stuff you guys will see. And I do tech videos, but tech videos can be hit or miss if they're not popular. Like Inspire, I think Inspire has some of the best pencil style earbuds, period. For me, I like heavy bass. They, they deliver. I ordered the Echo Minis. I pre-ordered them. I'm waiting. As soon as they get here, boom, boom, we're doing that video. We're going to listen. We're going to... Quality sound. Those speakers. Dope. You know? The restaurants I go to. The interviews with business owners. So we can see something different. We already know that being black is something of a, it's, it's something of a twisted horror story, and I don't believe it always has to be like that. So this is my video for them. Shout out the video from a beard. The audio didn't come out the way I want to, so when I feel up to it and I'm, I'm in my higher self, I'll, I'll shoot it. But we're amazing people. And I'll be damned if I let anybody tell us So if you don't do anything, just share my content. Hit the like button. Share it. If you ain't got a sign in, if you ain't got a Google account, which I doubt it, I'm pretty sure you got a Gmail account. Which if you got a Gmail account, you got a Google account. Share your timeline. You don't have to explain nothing. Share your timeline. Do that for me. That's it. Let me know you guys rock with me. And I'll keep doing my best to, to make the videos better and better each time. And go harder and harder for you guys. Because going hard for us, going hard for our children, which is going hard for our grandchildren, so forth and so on. Alright. Peace. Black empowerment. I'm not praying. We are not. No, I'm not praying.
No, I can't keep waiting. I'm glad we enjoy my soul.